All right, hey everyone, this is Ash. Welcome back to The King's Speech. Uh, so we're getting caught up on some Shonen Jump stuff today as well as a couple of read-throughs. Uh, before I dive into that, just a couple of little house clearing items before we do. Uh, so I'll be going on vacation next week. Uh, so after this week, uh, read-throughs will be on uh, read-throughs and uh, Shonen Jump review stuff. I'll uh, we'll be on a little bit of a hiatus until I get back. Uh, so everything should hopefully be back on the regular uh, mid-November, I think exactly mid-November. Uh, so look forward to that. Uh, but like I said, because of that, we're going to get caught up on some Shonen Jump stuff and read throughs this weekend. Uh, so today I covered uh, last week's chapter of Akane Banashi as well as Kaiju, which is finally back uh, from its hiatus. Uh, I think tomorrow we should be getting a Spy Family chapter. Uh, let me just check that out quickly. It doesn't say on here, but I think we should be getting a Spy Family chapter tomorrow. Uh, so I'll do a reaction to that as well as the newest chapter of Akane Banashi. Uh, yeah, apart from that, today we're going to get to a, a read through of Bride Story. Uh, and then tomorrow I'll get to another volume of Battle Angel Alita Last Order. Uh, so a lot of good stuff to look forward to. So if you haven't already, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it uh, with Bride Story Volume 5 by Kaoru Mori. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've done this. Uh, we have chapter 23, Wedding Banquet, uh, with, say, Lila. It's like, yeah, Laylee? So don't you think you've about reached your limit? It's like, no, but I think you have, Laylee. You can't hold out any longer, can you? It's like, I'm just fine, but if you say you're done, then... It's like, I'm just worried about you, Laylee. You're overdoing it. <laughs> and then there's the silence for a second before they go, It's so hot! And they just, like, shoot out from underneath a bunch of blankets. And they're like, is this really going to make us pretty? It's like, don't ask me, I have no idea. But Grandma said, you know what brides do. They cover themselves with a pile of comforters and take a steam bath. And after you've sweat, you'll have the smoothest skin for the day of your wedding. And they're like, is that true? It's like, well, Grandma said it was. And the Grandma just goes like, kneels nearby. It's like, it really is true. It made your skin smooth. I'm sure everyone will be praising you for it. <laughs> and you see them with just like a rustle rustle as they go back underneath it. Go back underneath the comforters. And the grandma's like, I think you could use a few more. There and there. She's like, piles more on top. It's like, it's so hot, Layla. It's like, just bear with it, Layla. It's for beauty. And to make sure everyone showers us with praise. It's our wedding after all. God, again. Just absolutely exceptional artwork in this series. And you have a, uh, so if I get five head as a wedding present for my older brother. And one head each for my cousins. It's like, first, everybody will go to the bride's house to eat their fill, so we don't need quite as much food when they come to ours after. It's like, that means we should be able to make do with just this much. It's like, yep, makes perfect sense to me. It's like, and so, we want all of those sheep for this much money. <laughs> yeah, the sheep are going, huh? What are you saying? All these are such a small sum? If I sold them for that price, I wouldn't have enough left to live on. He just like, grabs his shoulder and goes, listen to me closely. We're talking about a wedding here. A wedding is a one-in-a-lifetime pivotal event. Don't you want to celebrate once in a while? Consider a wedding gift. He's like, don't ask the impossible. That doesn't make sense at all. Perhaps if we were related, but we're total strangers. And you see him just like slowly inching closer to me like, sell them to me. Sell them to me. Sell them to me. It's like, I'm telling you that I won't. It's like, what? After I asked so nicely? Are you even human? And you see them just arguing with each other. <laughs> He's there with the wife going, oh my, he's like, welcome home. You were able to buy this many? As they come home, just like a small herd of sheep behind them. He's like, yeah, that's how we do it. It's like, that man was so generous. Do you have a hello? How are things coming along? Anything for us to do? And you see like all the female relatives and like friends showing up with, shall I start in the kitchen? It's like, maybe I can help decorate the room. Have you made arrangements for music? It's like, hello, we've come to help. As they poke their head into the door. It's like, our other sister said they'd be coming later. It's like, is that so? It's like, auntie, auntie, hello, hello. It's like, hey, you two aren't allowed out here. You still have preparations to do. And the aunt is like, it's the twins. Long time no see. Isn't this great? Congrats. It's like, I also bought these. I figured you'd be too busy. It's like, they're for everybody to eat. She's like, has a stack of bread. He's like, oh, thank you. It's like, what about the little ones? It's like, granny and my youngest are looking after them. And you see just... This crowd of kids with the grandma going like, they're there. What's the matter? As you have just, ah, wah, it's just like wailing. And you see outside as they go grab one of the sheep and go, 
okay, we'll lay him down here, this way. And you see them just starting to butcher it and skin it. Jeff, get me the tub. The tub! And you see uh, Smith just standing nearby, kind of getting a little bit squeamish. Uh, seeing them butcher all these sheep for uh, the wedding preparations. He's like, well, this is quite a sight, isn't it? They're like, what? Skinning and gutting sheep isn't out of the ordinary. He's like, well, yes, but seeing so many at once. He's like, here, take this and don't drop it. He's going like taking all the guts and putting it into a little uh, tub to carry off. Yeah, ah, you see the kids just like running off with it. It's like, listen up now. This here is the stomach. The thin stuff is the small intestine, and the fat one is the large intestine. It's like, what are those? Like the lungs. The grass they eat enters here. Oh, so you see, no, they're showing like the little kids like doing little uh, biology classes, like explaining it. It's like the grass they eat enters here, travels through here, and comes out here. See? And see the nearby river as the twins are getting bathed. You have it. Be sure to wash the back of your necks. It's like, Mother, I want to see them butchering the sheep too. It's like, no, you still have a lot of preparations and they take a lot of time. Hurry and just wash yourselves. And it's like, okay, both of you raise up your hands. And you have a, <laughs> as they start like scrubbing their armpits. And you see back with all the men, he's like, a, whew. He's like, hey, you want to try it next? You watch so you more or less know how, right? It's like, yeah. It's like, oh, is Amon trying it now? Then I'll hold it down myself. He's like, and I'll help with the harder parts. It's like, okay, listen. First you say a prayer of thanks to God and the sheep too. And you have, in the name of God, most merciful and benevolent. You have the kid repeating, in the name of God, most merciful and benevolent. You see, Smith just like taking little notes as they're doing it. So you see, as they hold the sheep down, like stretch out his neck so they can slice it. And goes, don't let it suffer. One quick slice. You see a bit and a splurt. Like, don't let it go. Not yet. And you see, it's like his little kicks. Legs kicking in his death throes. And so it's just kind of silent. He's like, what's wrong? He's like, ah. He's like, oh, watch him with that knife. Don't cut your hand. And you see a uh, little uh, guy, travel guy guy's got with him. His name I cannot remember. He's like, ah, you've got it a sheep before? And he's like, sure, what man has it? He's like, what, never? Don't they eat mutton where you come from? He's like, well, yes, we do eat it on occasion. However, we don't personally slaughter them. And he's like, hmm. He's like, ah, I suddenly sense that I might have lost a good deal of respect. And you see, like, the kid just, like, ripping the skin off the sheep and going, once it's skinned, cut down the belly along the center of the ribs. It's like, then open her up, and you see him just, like, grabbing the ribs and, like, breaking it open with a, her. And Smith's like, I would have expected more blood. And cry, the guy just confused, like, they bled it out first, right? It's like, it's heavy. He's like, don't drop it. It's like, oh, they did? It's like, first the thigh meat and the other side, too. It's like, now, slide your knife into the space between those bones. And you see him just, like, efficiently butchering apart the different parts of the sheep. You have the neck, shoulder, ribs, like, loin! And see all that's left is the head and the legs. And you see Smitch is like, oh, and he just starts clapping. It's like, well done, well done! It's like, first rate for a beginner. It's like, now you're a real man. <laughs> He's like, hey, how far along are we? It's like, we're only about half done? It's like, ah, it's hard with so many. Rough on my back. He's like, I see that your young ones just can't handle it. Now it's my turn. It's like, oh, this old guy steps up to the plate. And they just watch a master at work and my swirling short knife. And he's just like flashing out with the knife. And then with the, ugh, and you see the next one, he's like lying down with a hot pack on his back. It's like, just three head, huh? You have all done here. So like, would you help, please help with these? He's like, carry these over here. It's like, that's the way. Flip it inside out and wash the inside clean as well. If there's any dirt left, it won't come out tasting. You see them just like scrubbing out and washing the intestines. He's like, here you are. He's like, all right, thank you. Just set it over there. And you see them bringing in like fish, vegetables, and, like a bunch of grains and like other bags to start preparing meals. Is that an artichoke? Yeah, I think they're cutting up like an artichoke as well. And you see them just like sweating as like going like over this giant uh, pot, like mixing stuff together, making like different dumplings and things, getting all the clothes and mats and everything ready. Again, just stellar and phenomenal artwork uh, in this manga. Oh, one second. And you see how the brides are getting all dressed up and like, getting their hair braided. He's like, hey, stand up straight. Don't fidget. It's like, my back itches. Like, just bear with it. It's like, now put these on. And you see him getting like, dressed up with all these jewelry and like, fancy clothes. He's like, stay quiet during the ceremony. It's like, I know. It's like, mother, it's heavy. Like, that's just the way it is. Like, they're getting, like, loaded up with more and more jewelry and clothing. 
It's like, stop complaining. It's like, but what a pretty pair. It's like, that's right, you look like princesses from a palace. And you see, why are they squeezing into there? You have, come over here, girls, come and sit down. It's like, the right is your mother eyebrow, the left is your father eyebrow. So they assume they have squeezing some kind of like leaf or thing into like a die. And you see them just painting like a little line between it and going, when they come together, they are the love of both parents. This is done to ensure a couple's harmony and multitude of blessings. You have there, so beautiful. <laughs> And you see, <laughs> and you see, as a, someone is putting on a dance performance, I assume with now, isn't that a pretty sight? It's like, hmm, very nice, very nice. Jeff, Mina, the guests are already arriving. Jeff, congratulations on the big event. We bring our heartfelt congratulations to you, like a group of people just pouring in. It's like both of the twins at once. What a happy occasion. Jeff, wow, is it just like sitting there, like all just preening under the attention? With your boat so beautiful. What splendid young bride! So true, so true! It's like the very picture of the phrase outshining the sun. He's like, hey everyone, look! Somebody donated white horses for the ceremony! It's like, they're so pretty! It's like, really? Eh, I want to see! Let me! And you see how the twins like trying to rush off, the mother grabs them, yanks them back, and goes, brides, do not run around. So, but what beautiful twins! Isn't this wonderful? Congratulations! It's like, congratulations! You have more, more, we need more food out fast! He's like holding a steaming tray. He's like, all right. And you have, well, my best of the couple. It's like, ah, thank you. And he's like, by the way, whose wedding is this? And so that old guy's asking Smith. And he's like, eh? He's like, don't you know the family? He's like, no, I was heading down that road when they called me over here. He's like, that's fine, just fine. Even if they're strangers, if they want to celebrate with us, then the more people to celebrate the wedding, the better. It's like, wonderful, congratulations. It's like, well, thank you. Be sure to eat your fill. It's like, by the way, when can we expect the grooms? And the guy's like, huh? What was that? It's like, I was simply wondering when the grooms are due to arrive. And when's the ceremony? It's like, not for a long time yet. It's like, a long time? It's like, the people of this area go on like this for a week. And after that is the reception. And Smith's just shocked by this. It's like, don't be in such a rush. Just eat and enjoy the celebration. It's like, seriously, weddings are the absolute best. <laughs> So you have chapter 24 with the other set of twins with, remember, just stay calm. Face the situation like a real groom. It's like, right. It's like, is it too tight? It's like, no, it's fine. It's like, are you ready yet? It's like, just about. You see, the two princes are also dressed up nicely. With, here they come. It's like, oh, you two look fine. Just fine. It's like, what do you think? Take a look. It's like, I'd say they look like a pair of real men. It's like, hmm, just like me in my youth. I see this fancy horse being bought up, with, or I see them getting mounted on these horses with, okay, we're leaving now. It's like, you got everything you need? It's like, the bride's house is, ah, over there. You see, like, little celebration noises. It's like, let's take a lap around the village first. It's a good idea. It's like, now, let's head out as the trumpets of sound. So you have chapter 24, wedding banquet. And you got the little wedding procession setting out. And you see just, like, empty platters of food as everyone's celebrating. And the brides are now looking more incensed. And you have, and I just couldn't stop laughing. He's like, oh, come on. And my eldest son, you know, is like, who's that older girl? And they're like, say, mother, can we go for a walk? It's like, no, just a short one. We'll be right back. It's like, of course not. What are you thinking? Can't we go out and dance with everybody? Nothing wrong with that, is there? It's like, brides do not mingle about. Now sit still. And you get more and more annoyed. And they try to, like, slack off and relax. And the mother just glares as they go back to sitting primly again. It's like, mother, we're bored just sitting. Why can't we do anything? How long do we have to sit here? We're the most important people here, aren't we? You just see all the women just like st staring in shock at them as the mother just grabs into the back and runs off and goes, it's your wedding. Why can't you just grin and bear it? It's like, but we've done nothing but sit. We can't even talk. And everybody else is having fun. Why do they need us to stay sitting there? It's like, you can't just leave. Imagine how rude that would be to your guests. And they're just glaring as you hear outside. He's like, yeah, is that right? He's like, hey, everybody, the grooms have made their departure. He's like, really? Oh, my. And then the bride's like, then when do we get our share of the feast? We're hungry. It's like, that food is for the guests. Deal with it. And they're like, eh? It's like, shh. He's like, oh, there you are. I hear the grooms will arrive soon. And you see the bride's being like, if only Sarum would get here. If only Sami would get here. And you see the mother just throwing a veil over them with, cover yourselves. You must not show your faces from now on. 
They're like, hurry up and get here, hurry up and get here, hurry up and get here. Sarm, Sami. So they're going to lead the procession once around the village. It's like, oh, I see, I see. It's like, no, no, it isn't that I'm feeling sick or anything. I just thought that since a doctor was here, you could check me out. It's like, I see. It's like, Boss Smith, they're almost here. It's like, huh? Ah, yes. And you see the wedding procession leading him around. And then you see how Smith is coming to like, check it out. You see them heading into uh, the bride's village proper. Jeff, welcome, welcome. We've been awaiting your arrival. And like, ah, huh? they're nervous, as you'd expect. It's like, shh. It's like, now, shall we begin? First is the transfer of the bride price. It's like, hmm. We present an amount agreed upon through negotiation between both families. A fine bride price. It's like, yes, we come in anticipation of an even greater era of cooperation between our two families as relatives. It's like, here's wishing harmony between us. It's like, we also desire nothing more. Now hurry up and fork it over. He's even just like gritting their teeth as they're like uh, struggling over the little bride gift uh, plate. It's like, hey, the coming, coming. And you see him just like offering a little drink. And Smith's like, what is that? It's like, hmm? Milk with some butter added. It signifies the groom accepting everything about his bride. It's like, I see, I see. It's like, now if you'll please come in. And the rest of you too, come in, come in. And you see them headed in as the brides have been like both covered up. Jeff, Sammy, Sarm. And you see Ron Wesley let's quickly switch around. It's like, you're late, Sammy. It's like, we got sick of waiting, Sarm. It's like, we aren't really late. We came exactly as the ceremony requires. It's like, so when does the Imam arrive? It's like, I believe he said a little after noon. It's like, you're late. How, you could have come much earlier. We've been sitting here all this time. It's like, we couldn't go anywhere. We couldn't talk. Our legs hurt now. We're hungry. And we tried to sneak out. Mother caught us. She even came with us to the bathroom. He's like, yeah, sure. She's keeping watch, right? It's like, just look at this tired face of mine. It's like, you're under a cloth. How could I see? It's like, you really don't see it? It's like, don't see anything. And they're silent as one of them goes, you're making funny faces, aren't you? It's like, you said you couldn't see! It's like, don't have to see to know. And they're silent before they go, hey, come here, Sarm. I need to go to the bathroom. Take me there. It's like, wouldn't somebody else be... It's like, no, you. Come on, Sarm. And he's like, excuse me, we're going for a bit. And the mother's like, don't be too long. It's like, we won't. It's like, okay, we're there. It's like, I'll wait here. Come back quick. He's like, hey, where are you going? He's like, dragging her off. It's like, I'm going outside. I can't breathe in there anymore. It's like, Lila, the bathroom. It's like, I don't need to go anymore. It's like, you go outside and get caught, they'll really get, get really mad at you. It's like, that's why I'm going where nobody is. Take me there, Sarm. He's like, can't we wait at least until the ceremony's over? It's like, no, no more. I just can't. If I don't get out right now, I'll go crazy during the ceremony. He's like, are we there? Nobody's around. You see him taking him up to the hill. It's like, finally. You see him just like throwing the robe off. He's like crawling around on the ground. I'm beat, beat. I'm just so beat. I'm so bored. These weddings are just no fun at. And you see him just staring at her. He's like, what? He's like, ah, I mean, it's like I almost didn't recognize you. It's like, hey, Sarm, go get me something to eat. He's like, huh? It's like, Lila, what are you talking about? It's like, I'm hungry. I haven't had a bite to eat. You promised you'd do whatever I said, right? Go get food. And as he's walking away, he's like, I want stewed giblets and fried dumplings. And you see him heading back to the to the uh, ceremony where everyone's off to dancing. So he goes to where the food is laid out. And he goes and sneaks a couple. He goes, stewed giblets. He's like, I should have bought my knife. He just like grabs a big piece. Yeah, have Saruman. He's like, well, congratulations. One's like, what are you doing here? It's like, with this, you'll be the man of your own house. There will be troubles aplenty, but hang in there. It's like, yes, sir. He's like, oh, Saruman, here you are. Congrats, congrats. And you see him just getting mobbed by people. It's like, even when you're angry, peace in the house is most important. It's like, yes, sir. It's like, take care of your parents. Always keep your wife in mind. When you go out, be sure to bring her something back. It's like, yes, sir. And you see him just like hiding the food under his robes. He's back inside with uh, the other, with uh, Laylee. It's like, it looks like it'll take a little more time until we see the Imam. It's like, why don't you all have something to eat? He's even bringing in a plate of food. And as the smell's wafting towards her, she's like, Sami, hey Sami, I smell something tasty. What is it? It's like, fried dumplings. It's like, get one for me. It's like, can't you hold out? It's like, I'm so hungry. And you just see him, like, trying to, like, stealthily reach over. He grabs like, gimme, hurry up. And he just, like, sneaks it to her. And you have a baka baka baka, she's like making little munching noises. So like, can't you get a little quieter lately? They'll notice us. It's like, hey, is there any meat around? 
It's like, yeah. It's like, get me some. And you see him like going and sneaking a piece. It's like, a bread too. And he's like, keeps sneaking her more meat under the robe. It's like, more meat, another bun, stewed giblet and fruit, tea. It's like, hot. And she grabs the tea and has to drink it. It's like, that took forever, Sarm. It's like, quit the complaining. It was really hard to bring this stuff without getting caught. It's like, once you're done, we're going back. It's like, people will worry if they find out the bride is gone. It's like, I know that, but we have to bring some back for Laylee. It's like, hurry up and eat. <laughs> he just shoves a piece of bread into his face with, you have to eat too, Sarm. We have no idea when we'll get a chance again. And as he silently starts eating, he's like, don't spill it on yourself. He's like, I know, I know. And you see with a kaput and a burp. That sound, he's like, had enough now? You've had plenty, right? He's like, hmm, last but not least. And you see both the sisters saying, last but not least, I want some fried sugar bread. He's like, you're still not done? It's like, they only serve it at weddings, right? I happen to like fried sugar bread. Now get some. It's like, okay, I'll get some. But in exchange, you go back now and cover up. And you see Layla, you back? He's like, ah, sorry, Layla. I went and ate ahead of you. And I forgot to bring some back for you. It's like, oh, don't worry, Layla. I just had some food, too. And you see <laughs> the two brothers meeting up with fried sugar bread. It's like, fried sugar bread. It's like, there's some right there, but it's like, we went out to try to get some. It'd be really weird, huh? It's like, we'll be yelled at for sure. It's like, I get the feeling that it's always going to be me doing whatever Layla says. Isn't that a little unfair? It's like, Sami, you know you shouldn't be saying stuff like that. It's like, but it's true, right? She just goes on and on. It's like, I don't think it's about fair or unfair. It's like, then what is it about? It's like, I don't know for sure, but it isn't about that. It's just not about that. And you see, as I'm looking over, you see like a bunch of little kids heading over towards uh, the press out, toward the celebrations with, it's Layla and Lily's brothers. And you see one of the little kids looking back, and he's like, like, over here, over here. Like, look, I need a favor. Do you see that fried sugar bread over there? Can you bring it here? You've had them be- Excuse me. It's like, you've had them before, right? Those great sweets you can get at a wedding? And you see the little kid just get like, all excited as he goes. And like, here! And he like, hands him one as he's eating one. It's like, I don't mean just one. I mean bring the whole platter full. Do you get it? The whole platter full. He's like, mining the whole plate. And you see him just like, beautifully going and like, grabbing and running back with it. It's like, good, good, good! It's like, thank you, here, have some yourself. And just like drop three in his hand. And you see him sneaking into, uh, back into the wedding room with, we bought them. It's like, where? Where, where? It's like, behind you. And you see them with a moko, moko, moko. They're just like munching underneath the, uh, munching on the food underneath the covers. It's like, say, Sarm, I've been thinking about this for a while now. It's like, say, Sami, there's just one tiny thing more I'd like to ask. It's like, yeah, okay, now it has come to this. I guess I'll have to go along with just about anything. It's like, really? It's like, come out and say, what do you want to do? It's like, listen, listen. He's like, hasn't the imam shown up yet? It's like, he never seems to get here. And the mother's like, I'm going back in for a bit. It's like, right. And so she goes back and she sees us. The two grooms are conspicuously missing. And the brides are sitting still. He's like, hey, you two, where do the grooms go? It's like, Layla? Layla? What's the matter with you two? And as she looks behind, she sees that they've basically tied up like a pillow uh, in the shape of them and like put the robes over to cover it up. And you have more relatives showing up. Sorry we're so late. We just arrived. We'd like to offer our congratulations. It's like, congratulations to you both. Isn't it wonderful? We wish you all the happiness in the world. And you see the mother just like grabbing at the back and trying to tip them to be like, my daughters are so glad that you're able to come. It's like, when I get my hands on those two, you see outside as I like snuck them underneath their robes. It's like, okay, it's safe. Layla, it's like, come on out, Layla. Do you have a pua? It's like, I'm just amazed we weren't found out. It's like, everybody's still busy celebrating. It's like, ah, fresh air, fresh air. It feels so good. And you see Layla looking at Sami being like, I almost didn't recognize you. It's like, hey, they're doing a different song now. He's just like dancing and singing along to it and just having fun. <laughs> That's so adorable. Yeah, Sarum, Sami, sing along. You see them having just like a little private celebration. And you hear a murmur, 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 like, what? What is it? He's like, the mom is here. It's like, really? We've got to get back. It's like, this is bad, real bad. And then the mother's like, there you are. How many times did I tell you to stay put? It's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And you see them just like, whoosh, rushing back in and getting underneath, back underneath the robes again. Jab, yeah, once the ceremony is over, all that's left is a trip back to our place for the reception, okay? It's like, yeah. It's like, it won't be much longer. Hang in there, okay? It's like, yeah. 
But if I can't hold out, do you promise to help me escape again? And Sami's like, only if you absolutely can't stand it anymore. But do everything you can to endure it, okay? It's like, all right. And you see outside as everyone's greeting the Imam with, Thank you for coming. We're so glad you're here. It's like, on this blessed day, I offer my heartfelt felicitations. It's like, thank you so much. It's like, we put ourselves in your hands. And Smith is like, is he the holy man? It's like, he is. He presides over all the wedding ceremonies in this region. He is an extremely important imam. He's like, oh ho. It's like, when you say important, just how important exactly? Can a holy man go up and down in rank? And just how are the ranks decided? And you see inside the moment, like, mother's just, like, gesturing to them with, like, they're calling us. Like, let's go, Layla. It's like, okay. And you see them just grabbing the hands, leading them outside. So you have chapter 25, and you have the wedding ceremony. Generally takes place in a room of the house of the bride. The only ones allowed in the room are the groom and the bride. And an uncle from each family stands with them as witnesses. At last, the imam conducts the ceremony. And he goes, please, everyone, relax. And I assume that's a Quran. Yeah, it's a Quran. So first the couple places their hands on the Quran to say their vows. After that the Imam sprinkles blessings and wheat flour over the groom. The same is done over the bride. Then they eat various meats and breads and share drinks from a cup of salt water. If they are joined as man and wife this way, they say the depth of love increases, bringing with it a lifetime of happiness. And you see Smith pours Smith outside taking notes with, I'm really not allowed to see it? It's like ceremonies have rules. Give it up. And you see a, maybe it's over? As the imam kind of just like pushes the door out of the way and he's like, Now come on out and greet the eyes of your neighbors. And you see both the couples heading out as everyone's just like pinching their faces and like giving the congratulations. And you see them getting like all their wedding gifts and everything. And you see later with, Grandpa, take care of yourself. Take it easy on your bad back. It's going to be fine. And you two take care of yourselves. He's like, Grandma, you look after yourself too. It's like, yes, yes. And you keep the snacking to a minimum. He's like, you too, Father! They're all excited and they look shocked as their father just got like tears welling up in his eyes. He just like grabs him in close for a hug and goes, They say the worse kids behave, the more they're loved. But when I think that I probably won't be scolding you anymore. You see, looking back at them, and others are also like tearing up. And the little brother is being like, Sissy! He's like, Sis! It's like, now, let's all head back. Everyone come with us. It's like, when we came, we took a lap around the village. So let's do the same on the way back. And you see as they're kind of looking a little bit shell-shocked as they're getting on the horses and being led away, you see them like flipping the hoods back with, hang on tight. It's like, okay. So yeah, chapter 25, Wedding Banquet, part 3. You see as they're like, being led away with the wedding procession, you have, say, Sarm, this means I'm not a part of their house anymore, huh? It's like, well, no, you're coming to join mine. He's like, hey, the brides have arrived, make way! And you see them like crying underneath uh, the robes. He's like, what are you moaning for? He's like, Layla? And he looks underneath, he sees her crying. He's like, what's wrong? He's like, nothing, everything's fine. And you see both the brothers just like gesture. He's like, he's crying. He's like, so, shall we get the preparations for the reception started? And you see them just like grabbing their brides and running away with, what's the matter, Layla? He's like, what's wrong, Layla? And you see them both just like shivering and shuddering, just tearing up. He's like, but, but our mom, dad, and mom won't be saying good morning to us every day. We won't be secretly sneaking sweets from Grandma anymore. We won't be hearing Grandpa's humming anymore. Now we're just two girls all on our own. And they're like, on your own? It's like, if you get lonely, you can always just go see them. They're right over there. You can see them any time. It's like, but they aren't family anymore, but... And they're like, something smells really good. It's like, huh? And you see like a bunch of chefs just like cooking away or like giant pots. So they're getting ready for the reception. Well, you want us to go get things for you again? It's like, I've already eaten too much. I'm completely full. Talk about self-serving. It's like, okay, then just go sit over there. You don't have to do anything more, okay? I see her exchanging a look as so her brides are still just like sniffling and crying. It's like, say, Layla, can you please just stop crying? He's like, fried sugar bread. Have some. It's like, no. So like, let's go dancing outside. It's like, I don't want to dance. And Fa's like, mm, it's just how brides are. Leave them be. It's like, now, let's show everyone what a fried rice master I am. It's like, can't be stingy with the oil. And you see uh, Sami giving her lately a little uh, kerchief. And he's like, here, wipe your face. She like, shoves, like scrubs it and then like blows her nose into it and shoves it back. And he's like, they've been depressed all this time, mother. It's like, it's hard to be separated from your home. But they'll be all right. Everyone feels that way at first. 
even though I felt lonely when I went out on my own. It's like, yes, but think, this is a point where you can demonstrate your capability as husbands. It's like, make them fall so hard for you, they forget their loneliness. You see all the old guys just like slapping on them on the back and laughing. It's like, go on! It's like, oh, looks like the fried rice is done. As he has like everyone celebrating outside, uh, they go in to see their brides. And he's like, cover them back up again. And he's like, hey, Layla, don't be so down. You may have left their home, but parents are still parents. It's like, it isn't as if your old family has disappeared or something. And they're just like silently looking at each other like, I know how you must feel, but try to cheer up, Layla. And in exchange, I'll... It's like, Layla? And you see her, she's got like snoring noise. It's like, she, she's asleep? It's like, she went and fell asleep? It's like, that little... It's like, hey, Sarm, I can't explain it, but suddenly I'm a little ticked off. It's like, how odd? Me too. It's like, I'm suddenly reminded of that time they pushed me out of a tree. It's like, and there was that time they set my clothes on fire and ruined them. <laughs> And you see them just going outside as they get like a bunch of sticks of charm, like shaving it. And they go get a bunch of uh, like this. So they basically pile up a bunch of cushions and futons behind them with like two sticks balanced precariously. And then they leave. And they're like, hey, you two, come over here quick. And yeah, but I did promise as a wedding present. Is that a boat? I assume it's supposed to be a boat that they're being gifted as a wedding present. It's like, wow, this is great. You're actually giving these to us, Dad? It's like, come on now, don't make such a fuss. It's like, you're acting like kids. It's like, well, it's you we're talking about, so I figured you'd forget like usual. It's like, yeah, that the whole thing would just fade away. Thanks, Dad. And see that ah, it's like, hey, Layla, were you asleep just now? It's like, huh, you too, Layla? And as they're moving, they knock the sticks over and... <laughs> so on top of the futons, they also piled a bunch of cookware and pots and pans on top of it. So everything just comes crashing down on top of them. And they come out with a, what was that for? That scared us half to death. And like, Layla, Layla. It's like, look at this, boats, my own boat. And you see them just shying there. I just saw mouth open. It's like, they're brand new. Not only that, but Sami and I each got one. Isn't that amazing? And like, uh, yeah, sure. Good for you. It's like, isn't it? I've wanted my own boat forever. And with two boats, fishing is going to be even easier. This could open up new income opportunities. And you seem just like so excited. It's like, you really outdid yourself this time. It's like, of course. Father's love and all that. It's like, let's go to the river right now and try them out. It's like, don't you want to ride it in it, Layla? And you see them just like testing out the boats. It's like, hold it, hold it. We're in the middle of a reception here. It's like, don't be in such a rush, you two. And you see them just looking at both of them, smiling and happy. It's like, hey, twins, isn't that wonderful? Your husbands are so eager to get to work. While they're pumped up, you should ride their enthusiasm, get them to make a lot of money for you. And you see more celebrations and dancing as the next day they take out the two boats for a test drive. Or a test swim, I guess. And you see them going and fishing, bringing in this giant haul. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, they're counting them. It's like seven, and you fill them with like seven whole uh, like wicker baskets full of fish. It's like, I knew it! Having two boats sure makes a difference! It's like, if we rework how we use nets a little, we'll catch even more. It's like, say, Layla, when we sell this, we're going to get a pretty good price. It's like, he's right, Layla. It's like, so maybe, maybe if we're able to catch and sell this much every day, we'll make even more. Every now and then, we can go to the faraway market, market and sell them for even a better price, huh? We'll be drowning in money. It's like, so that would mean we're going to be rich. And they're like, well, have we started to measure up in your eyes? And he said, kill him! As the boys just come diving in to give their new husbands a kiss on the cheek. It's like, ah! Oh. It's like, ow, oh, ow, oh, stop it, Layla! She's just like happily smacking him. It's like, hey, Sarm, I want a big house. So like, you are getting way ahead of yourself. It's like, I want a peacock, a tiger, and a monkey as pets. He's like, no, let's skip the tiger, okay? It's like, we'll call them musicians every day and sing and dance, and we'll all live happily ever after. And you see later as they're getting on the wedding procession again. You have, all right, time for us to move on. And Smith's like, what's that? And the guy's like, we're taking off. Here's your bags. He's like, huh? Right at this moment? It's like, think about it. If we're going to leave, we have to do it while everybody's occupied elsewhere. If they find us again, they'll drag us right back. He's like, uh, perhaps. Perhaps you're right. And the father's like, you're leaving? He's like, I'm afraid so. He's like, that's too bad. I haven't been able to thank you properly. He's like, not at all. Your hospitality has been more than enough. It's like, so, where will you go from here? It's like, we're going to head through Persia and make for Ankara. 
the boss has a guy to meet. And you see just like a little map of where they're going. And he's like, honey, honey! He's like, yes. So we figured you might need some things on the road. Please take these with you as our gifts to you. He's like, ah, oh, many things. And just pile like a bunch of stuff on them. He's like, all finished? He's like, don't you have more bags now? He's like, oh, that right there is just perfect. Here, wear that. And you see him just like putting on his robe and like his little uh, hat. He's like, oh, doctor, you're going? He's like, yes, I must be on my way. He's like, oh, I fully understand. We're not the only place that needs a doctor. But thank goodness you came. If you ever pass through again, be sure to stop by. May you be kept safe on your travels and may you meet only the best of people. This I pray for you. He's like, thank you very much. And you see as he's getting ready to go. Uh, you see him like waving goodbye to all the kids. like, aww. And you see uh, back with, uh, I cannot remember her name, but uh, the wife he abandoned behind with like, Chubar? What are you looking at? And he yeah, thinks as he's leaving and you see the guide singing. He goes, may you meet only the best of people. So you have chapter 26, the day long song. And you have, the mornings have cooled down quite a bit recently. Carla seems cold and asleep, so I add one more comforter. Like starting up, start up a fire under the pot. Breakfast is light, only bread, cheese, a bit of fruit, and some tea. Open up the stables, the horses grow lively, knowing they're about to be groomed. And you have, everyone gathers to prepare lunch. The staples are as always bread and cheese, but we add mutton and onion mixed with other vegetables to make filling for boiled dumplings. We made so many, but they all vanish. Carlick says they were especially delicious today. It seems a neighbor's burrow ran off. We even searched outside the town. But in the end, it was found sleeping in the next door neighbor's inner garden. Paria says that she will meet her prospective groom again. <laughs> As I go out to deliver some eggs to a neighbor, I'm asked to return a borrowed horse blanket. And I forget the eggs that were my main purpose. I do a bit of sweeping while I wait for the water to boil. Carlick's third sister brings over her children to play at our home. It seems the family she married into doesn't have a well as close by as we do, so it's very hard on her. She left bearing more gifts than she bought. Yeah, if I do a bit of sweeping while I wait for the... Oh, sorry, I feel that. Yeah, sorry, I forgot the next page. I taste the beasts of the plains, but I cannot catch hawks. The only master they serve is the heavens. I spy a herd of gazelles on the rocks. Their big dark eyes and long legs give them a beauty and elegance. Then they notice me, panic, and are gone. It is a still peaceful day. Again, I love whenever artists draw like the water mirror, like in, water mirroring uh, the person. You have Carla got just a bit taller. In the evening, I bring in the laundry. The distant mountains have turned white. It is about this time when my old clan starts to head toward their winter homes. In winter, no matter what you do, some livestock are lost. I wish for a winter that is not too cold. With just a bit more work, I'll be finished with a new pillowcase. It might be better if this flower were red rather than green. And you see, yeah, she's getting into the bed at night. She's just like, you know, watching Carlo's sleeping face. And goes, I hope he grows up quickly. <laughs> uh, I love the little a day in the life of Amir chapter. We have side story, Queen of the Mountain. Yeah, it's awful, just awful. One of the nausea kids is stuck on the eastern cliff. And she's like, ah! and you see this kid just like, holding on to this branch for dear life. And Jeff have Timor. He's like, wait, you'd never make it. He's like, how did you get to a place like that? And you see up above, they're crossing down a road with, here, grab this. It's like, I'm scared. And you see, as like the father's like, whoever's up above, like almost slips, like the rock falls down. And you see the grandmother coming up, well, get me a goat now. And she just mounts and goes, it's like, mother is like out of my way. <laughs> and you see her just riding the goat up the mountain. It's like, where's the boy? You have, ha, ha. He's like, yeah, as you see the goat just like running, jumping uh, up the cliff. He's like, hey now, hey. He's like almost loses its footing. He's like, it isn't far now. Mind where you're stepping. And you see the goat's like, ha, ha. And you see the grandmother like inching closer. He's like, hey, come to me. And she's like trying to reach out to the kid. And she just like grabs him and pulls him onto it. And you have, as far back as I can remember, whenever she got on a goat, there was no one that could follow her. She took routes that no horse could travel and climbed them like they were nothing. As if she were the queen of the mountain. <laughs> I love that. You have chapter 27. And you see uh, the wounded hawk. Uh, sorry, where's the next page? 
sees the Omri out in the plains. She's watching like this herd of uh, sheep. I guess horned sheep. And as she's heading towards them, you see a... Uh, what she looking at? She heads towards them. Yeah, she's going to like corral them, I guess. Uh, so she's trying to pick out one from the herd. So she grabs and knock, knocks an arrow and then shoots it down. And you see the rest of them just like jumping up the cliffs to get away. And you say, cough, cough. And she goes and like grabs a knife and like slits its throat uh, to bleed it out quick. And as she like puts, she puts, ties it on the back of her horse. And as she like jumps on, there's a shooting a thunk. It's like too heavy. And the horse just snorts and like, it's just till we get home. Hang in there. It's like the 19th century Central Asia. Vast open plains, mountains, and desert here and there dotted with villages. Outside the villages, the nomads pitch their camps. The villagers want goods from the nomads. The nomads desire farm products from the villagers. And in all places, information is exchanged. And far and wide, rumors of a Russian invasion spread. But even amid the rumors, the caravans still travel their routes. The market stalls are bustling and people make their way through their everyday lives. And as Amir is heading back, she sees like this little blood trail. And she sees ooh, this wounded hawk with like this bloodied wing struggling nearby. And she sees it has apparently got like a rope tied to one of its legs. Uh, and as she gets closer by, it's like just like starting to like, uh, like trying to intimidate her, I guess. It's like, there, there, don't fuss. And she just throws like a blanket over it to capture it. And as she heads back, Harwell looks like, I'm here. It's like, welcome home. And she just rushes past him. It's like, mother, do you mind if I empty the storeroom? It's like, as you like, but what's happened? And he's Carl looks just like standing there a little bit shocked. And as her horse comes up to like sniffle at him, he's like, Soul Keek. He's like, wow, quite the haul today. He's like, I'm here. I'm going to unload Soul Keek. And she's like, yes, please do. As she's emptying the storehouse. And he's like, a hawk? It's like, a hawk? A hawk? He's like, a hawk? I want to see. Let me see. Let me see. It's like, you can't. It's wounded. The best thing right now is to let it have quiet. It gets overexcited when people come close, and injured animals are the most dangerous. It's like, I just want to see it for a second, can I? It's like, just for a moment, all right? You see them just like peering through the window at it, and she sees like she's splinted its wing. It's like it has an anklet attached to its leg. It's like it's a hawk used for hunting. I thought that someone may be searching for it, so I bought it here. It's like a hunting hawk. It's like Tilaki must be overjoyed. It's like, what hunting hawk? I don't think anybody uses one in these parts. A peddler or a traveler, maybe? And Carl looks like, have you heard of anyone searching for one? This guy, I haven't heard of anyone. Have you asked among the market stalls? It's like, what? What? What's this about a hawk? Does anybody know about it? Let's gather everyone over here. It's like, anyway, everyone promised to ask around as much as they could. And Amir's like, all right. It's like, do you think you will heal? Oh, as he's watching, like, sewing, he's like, do you think you will heal? It's like, it seems to have the will to eat, and if it doesn't move the wounded area too much, it could heal. It's like, that's so. I hope it heals well enough to fly again. It's like, yes, but I don't know. I think we should keep Tiliki away from it as much as possible. Even if its wounds heal, if it can't fly, I'll probably have to kill it. And that will be hard if she grows attached. And he's silent before he goes, that's probably true. And as he's watching, like, make up something, is that... Is that the like, grandmother, what do you think? So it's like the little uh, the blind that they use for hunting hawks to make sure they can see. She creates one for it. It's like, do you think this is all right? Again, I love the attention to detail on this. It's like, let me see now. You know, it's been such a long time for me. It's the first time I've ever made one. I used to watch my father and uncles make them, but it's like, well, give it a try. You can always fix it if there's a problem. It's like, all right, I'm headed to the storeroom. She goes running off, and she look, peeks inside. Or as uh, she's looking at it, Carla coming up. He's like, it's a hawk hood. You cover its eyes and make it dark, and they calm down. When they're anxious, they start getting aggressive, and that could damage its wing even more. He's like, really? It's like, it looks to be about the right size. I'm so glad. It's like, you know a lot about this. She's like, I only remember what I've watched from afar. Hawks are a man's business. And he's like sitting upstairs in the little balcony watching her. Jeff, Carl looks, so this is where you've been. He's like, I'm here. He's like, listen. And she's like, I'm going to go out to get some food for the hawk. There's still some time before we need to start dinner preparations. He's like, ah, I see. Then be safe. Jeff, huh? Where's Amir? He's like, isn't she in the storeroom? He's like, Amir? He's like, she went out to hunt food for the hawk. It seems to be picky about his meats. He's like, now that you mention it, I haven't seen her. But I heard she was out looking for some medicine or something. And he's looking at her sleeping face later that night. Like it, seems able to be, it seems able to tuck in its wing a lot better now, and some new feathers are beginning to grow in. 
it actually may be able to fly. And if it can, see the next day she's like using a little like pair of chopsticks, like feed bits of meat. And he's like, not that I particularly mind, but I wonder if someone else can help look after it. If we set it free, it will be bad if it's gotten too dependent on one person. Amir doesn't have to do everything for it. She seems to be going on, gone a lot lately, and I can hardly even talk to her when I want to. It's always about the hawk. <laughs> he's getting jealous. Not that I mind, but Firefly's like, ah, what you're feeling is jealousy. He gets embarrassed, like, eh, eh, no, that's not. I mean, it's a hawk. It's like, doesn't matter if it's a hawk or a human. The feeling is the same. She's been taking care of it pretty single-mindedly. And you feel that the hawk has stolen your wife, right? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Christ, I thought of the worst, best title for this video. It's like, no, I mean, I don't. It's like, that'd be silly. It's like, do you really think so? It's like, beyond a doubt. It's like, ah, Amir, you turned up just in time. It's like, yes? It's like, you've been tending to the hawk a lot lately. And Carlo's feeling a little jealous, and you see her just like blushing and fidgeting. He's like, um, but the hawks they use for hunting are all female. It's like, no, that isn't the problem. It's like, you see, Carlo here isn't necessarily opposed to you taking care of the hawk. It's like, why don't you just tell yourself what you want? And you see, sorry, a second. He's, uh, let's see, that is, um, I'd like you to not always be so focused only on the hawk, and for you to spend a bit more time with me. She's like, all right, I'm sorry. And you see them just like blushing and just like looking away all adorably. And he just like holds out his hand like he holds hands and then a the kiss. And you see the next day as they hide right out into the plains, they have the hawk on there. She's holding it on her arm with the, the hood on it still. And then she tries to like let it take off. So she takes the hood off, tries to let it launch off and it comes with a beside a flap and thuds into the ground. And you see it like flailing around, just like trying to fly. And you see, like, flailing around, just screeching and hurting itself. It's like, it's possible that its strength hasn't fully returned. Let's give it a little bit more time and come back to try again. It's like, all right. And you see them trying again with the same results. It's like, it may be hopeless. The break must have healed badly and the wing is warped. It's like, it's too bad. It took so long to heal, but what can be done? And uh, he's like, do you want to try keeping it as a pet? And uh, Amir's like, that is completely unthinkable. Flying is a bird's life, and to make it a pet, never to fly again, being fed by hand, even if we're still alive like that, it wouldn't be living, and that would never do. Before even considering that, it would be better to leave it here on the plains for the other animals to eat. He's like, oh, is that right? I suppose so. And he's like, I'll do it. You've been taking care of it all this time, Amir. It will be too painful to you since you've grown attached, right? I can do it. And you see later Tilligy is just like going, crying, to him, going, Why? Why'd you have to kill it? Why? He's like, Birds live by hunting and flying and hunting prey. They can't do that anymore. He's like, But! It's like, Tilliki, like, Tilliki, come here a minute. And you see the father trying to like explain to her. And he's like, I'm sure Yusuf will help her understand. And he has Ami, he's like, all lost in thought. She goes, The splint. Maybe if I'd made the splint stronger, it might have made the difference. I was afraid the blood stopped, the wing would begin to rot, so I didn't tighten it very much. And Carl looks like, I've never seen a wounded hawk treated, so I know I could never have done as well as you did, Amir. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody could have. So I'm saying that, um, it isn't your fault, Amir. And you see the next day with, ah, oh, if it isn't Nuri. It's like, ah, hello, must rush. It's like, Carl, look, we found him, found him. It's like, found him? You found who? And you see uh, this guy coming up with, I heard that someone here rescued a hawk. It's probably mine. And he's like, is that right? And they say, him, take him to the grave where they buried it with like the little helmet on. Like, it's too bad, but it can't be helped. It hunted down a lot of meat for me. I was beginning to think of returning it to the wild. And he's like, we did our best to nurse it back, but the wing never healed right. It's like, no, I'm thankful for all the effort you put into it. I thought a wolf or a tiger had eaten it long ago. It's like, I'm a traveling peddler. I sell the meat that my hawk happens to bring down. Some time ago, I was attacked by highwaymen. But when I managed, finally managed to escape them, I realized my hawk was gone. It's like, highwaymen? It's like, things have been unsettled recently. There are people running to escape the Russians, and some have taken to thievery. It's like, thieves? Are they that prevalent? It's like, there are a lot of them, depending on the area. So come to think of it, I heard a similar story from a trader from a caravan. It's like, where were you chased? How close have the Russians gotten? I couldn't tell you that. 
I've been trying to avoid getting too close. So all I've heard are rumors. It's like, if you hear anything more, could you make your way back here? It's like, whatever the rumor, it would be a big help if you could tell us. And Carl looks like, will you be all right without your hawk? It's like, I'll arrange for a new one. You shouldn't make a hawk answer to a man's orders for more than a few years anyway. It's like, we're not having anything to sell. We'll make things tight. We'll make things a bit tight. You see later with the woo wump as they're re putting everything back in the storehouse. Yeah, it seems there's more here than when we pull it out. I wonder if it'll all fit again. And you see um, we're picking up just like one of the bloodied hawk feathers that was left behind. And you see in the next one that she's used it to notch one of her arrows as she goes off riding again. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so again, quick thoughts on the volume. Uh, so I really, really enjoyed uh, this one, especially kind of like the slice of life stuff, the wedding stuff. Uh, the wedding stuff especially, I again love how much like research and authenticity uh, Mori-san has done for this and you can really kind of tell uh, with the way she's drawn like the way the sheep and the goats were butchered uh, for the preparation like the the detail like you know showing exactly where they would have cut it on the joints like how they would have skinned it uh, everything like that because it's very very similar to what they do in uh, just like Indian weddings and celebrations as well so I've seen uh, this happen quite a few times as well uh, so that's how I know I can speak to the authenticity of some of this as well because I've been like I've experienced my own fair share of it, uh, especially the wedding stuff. Especially because when my brother got married, he had an Indian wedding, uh, and that was exactly how it played out as well. Where like the bride and groom had to like stand up on stage while like everyone came and like you know uh, gave their congratulations, like wanted to take pictures with them and everything, and they were like literally the last people that got to uh, eat the food and everything else because they had to wait for like the entire ceremony to be finished. Uh, so I really did like that. Uh, really, really solid volume. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the next one. Uh, so like I mentioned at the beginning, uh, free throughs and stuff will be out this weekend before I go on break. Uh, but everything will be back sometime in mid-November. Uh, so look forward to that. As always, if you like this content, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, this is Ash. I'll talk to you all later.